in her very first movie, Preeti Zinta earned a Film Fair Best Female Debut Award, and her career has followed a generally upward path ever since. Her performances have shown consistency in quality and striking versatility, and she's been rewarded with rave reviews and box office success. In the process, she's helped to redefine the role of female characters in Indian cinema, transforming them from living ornaments to convincing three-dimensional characters. Although she can also generate on-screen chemistry when it's called for, after nearly two decades in the industry, she's not only considered to be one of the most influential women in Bollywood, but also a noted humanitarian and a vocal advocate of the rights of women and children. She also has a more than passing interest in cricket, and it was this passion that brought Preeti to South Africa recently. Bollywood and cricket have always had a connection, not only in India but globally. And there's no surprise that actors like Shah Rukh Khan, Shilpa Shetty and Preeti Zinta have bought into IPL teams. Preeti found her link in 2008 when she bought into Kings XI Punjab and has enjoyed almost 10 years of success with that team. Now she has a sights set on a team in South Africa. Based in the city of Mohali, the Kings XI Punjab is considered to be one of the strongest teams in the Indian Premier League. And after something of a dry patch in 2015 and 2016, the Kings XI is making a strong comeback, which helped to clear the way for Preeti to take an interest in the Stellenbosch T20 franchise. Preeti, welcome back to South Africa. It is so good to have you on, Mela. Well, thank you. How did you get involved in the Stellenbosch King? I do think some things are meant to be and some things are just written in the stars. There's no way you can navigate through certain things because when this league uh, started and the bids came out for it and the tender came out for it, I was filming at that time and I didn't realize these bids had come out. And then one day in the newspapers I read, these teams have happened and I just looked and I was like, oh, <laughs> and I just had this feeling like I wish I had like thought about it and then as they say in film terms cut to I was in Dubai and I bumped into Mr. Haroon Logar from Cricket South Africa and he told me that Stan Bosch had an ownership but it changed and he kind of saw it before I did and he just said uh, Preeti you just have to do this and the only credit I take was I was really quick <laughs> after that it wasn't a tough sell because I knew it was going to be great cricket they put a great team together yeah we have Faf Duplessis I mean could it get better. We have Stephen Fleming, we have Eric Simmons, we have some of the best local talent, some of the best international players. So on that front I wasn't nervous because if you get your cricket right then most of your problems are solved. You recently had a beautiful launch at a Stellenbosch wine farm. What was that like? It was amazing. It was nice to come to this beautiful place and I was like, wow. I just thought like, yeah, the team is great. The region is great. It's one of the best regions. It's beautiful. It has all these vineyards and in the end, it all worked out. You cannot have a league like this successful uh, if it doesn't belong to the people, if it doesn't do grassroots activation. And that's how you build your base, that's how you build your fan following, and uh, that's how you build your future. You've spoken a lot about kind of development and taking the team back to grassroots. How do you plan on incorporating the community in the team? This T20 Global League is a league aimed at younger talent in the country. It's not aimed at a Fat Duplessis, it's not aimed at a Hashim Amla, it's not aimed at A.B. De Villiers. They're already big stars. But look at these young 17, 18, 19 year old boys. They're going to now stand on an international stage with their heroes. And they need to stand tall. This is going to revolutionize cricket in the country and make it a sport where parents are comfortable with their children taking it up as a career. So do you get involved with selecting the team? I think in some ways that unless I can play better cricket than any one of the cricketers, I should not be telling them about cricket. It's not my place. If I would start selecting the team, I mean, come on. You pick them because they're cute, hey? No, to me, the cutest player is the one who hits a six <laughs> or gets a wicket or wins me the game. That's it. You're the only woman in the T20 Global League. How are you going to make your mark on this league? Well, first of all, I want all the women to support me, please, because it's not the easiest job in the world. The tough part is to get players from all across the globe and to put them together and make them work as a team. That's one of the tough parts because they've spent years in rivalry. 
and now they're going to be sharing a dressing room together. How do you make a local South African fan who is the biggest fan of, let's say, the Protea team to stand there and wish that A.B. de Villiers gets out? All that bit is a lot of work in the beginning and then when the cricket takes over, I mean, there's nothing like winning. You've been involved in the IPL and cricket for over 10 years now. What has been the most memorable experience for you? The most memorable experience definitely was coming out of there with that bid in my hand. Everybody was like, this is crazy. Why are you doing this? You have the greatest career in movies. You're doing so well. And they were like, cricket is the number one sport in India. It's already saturated. So I had to work five times harder. It, it didn't matter if I worked all night. And I think the best, best, best moment definitely was after 10 years when the broadcast rights came and sold for $2.25 billion. Because I was like, it worked. I was right. Are you going to be joining us in November? Are you coming down to watch your team? How can I not be here? Of course, because it's our first time in the stadium. So I want to be there to make sure everything is fine. Um, I'm not going to miss a safari. Have you still not done one yet? I still haven't. Can you believe it? I've always come here to work. So I'm actually looking forward to, of course, our games, but also to like discover the country. Well, thank you so much for chatting to me. It really has been amazing. And thank you for your time. And I'm looking forward to seeing you and every single one of you in Stellenbosch in November as we see the Stellenbosch Kings go on and win. Well, my message to all the cricket lovers is get ready for some unbelievable cricket and an unbelievable stadium experience in Boland Park with the Stellenbosch Kings.